Let me ask you something. Have you been feeling something about our space lately as you scroll through your social media? Remember those days when daily renders and 36 days of type was actually cool because at the time it was very new, it was fresh, and we hadn't seen anything like that before. But, 3,000 years later. You know, it, it seemed like everybody and your grandmother and your grandfather was using Cinema 4D and social media was just churning out so many of these renders that no one wanted them anymore, right? And then we just kind of moved on to physics simulations and then we find ourselves here in this current day. Here we go again. So over the past year, I've sat down with many of my trusted creative developer colleagues and talked about exactly this. And we can all seem to agree that what we're seeing right now with a you know quick search, it's getting quite repetitive. Each piece of work has less differentiation between them, which I think is a great signal for saturation. A little later. And then as we continue the conversation, we naturally ask, well, what do you actually find interesting right now then? And what has come up very frequently is the use of characters and avatars. Okay, okay, I, I know some of you might be saying right now, hey you, aren't these popping because of its strong concept and cultural relevance? Yes, that, that is true, but what is also true is that what's consistent among all of these works is the fact that they use characters and avatars. I think it's finally about time that we introduce character blueprints with the Interact courses. Okay, so let's talk about what you can expect to learn from this course. Since this is a learn by theory course, it's for beginners. So if you don't know how to use Mixamo, we'll start with that. From an unrigged skeletal mesh, we take that into Unreal and we import that and create the animation blueprints. And then we create more blueprint classes that controls the animation blueprint. And then we add more blueprint code that creates the behavior logic. So when you place it in the level, the characters can interact with each other in a generative manner. So as I said, this is an introduction to using characters in Unreal Engine. So don't expect anything super crazy, but you will get detailed hand-drawn explanations of important components that I feel are lacking in explanation by other instructors. All right, hopefully I've convinced you to give characters a shot in Unreal Engine. Why don't we get started with the practical side of the course? So I'll be covering right from the very basics, including how to use Mixamo. If you already know how to use it, you can sort of skip ahead to where I have downloaded the files from Mixamo and see which ones I have downloaded. And that'll be enough. Otherwise, let's continue. Okay, so before we get into Mixamo, we need to gather the skeletal meshes that we're gonna need to complete this course. So the first one is the Stickman, which was created by this creator over here, and the Space Guy, which was created by this creator here. And so for these, in order to use it, I had to modify the meshes a little bit because as you can see here, this is the original Stickman. You can see that there's barely any tessellation here in the important parts, so I had to do some subdivision here and divide to get triangles because Unreal Engine does not support quads. So that's that. And for the space guy, it's originally like down here and I think quite large. So I had to just bring it up here to the level, as you can see here, right? And then I had to reduce the poly count a little bit because it was, it's quite dense. And uh, divide once again. And you can find these files in the course files over here. So the stick band over here with appropriate credits over here. And as well as the space guy with the appropriate credits over here. Okay, so... Once you download the course files, we can get started with Mixamo. All right, so you should have Mixamo opened up already and logged in with your Adobe account, which I'm sure many of you already have. If not, go and create it. And so first things first, we're going to work on the stick man. So I'm going to upload the character here. Click on that. 
and let's drop in the Stickman low poly because currently for me I'm like recording and also running Unreal Engine which is quite heavy so I'm just going to pick the low poly version and so this is fine already and let's just go and click hit next and then let's put the chin and all these anchors here wrists elbows closer to the hand probably here and then the knees are going to be around here, I think. And then the groin is here, right? And the symmetry is fine. And let's click on no fingers because we have no fingers here. And click next and let it process a little bit. Okay, so once it's processed, it should look something like this. It's not perfect, but it'll work in our course. And you can see a little bit the low polyness of our meshes which is, to be honest, okay, because you can always subdivide within the shaders, which you can do in, you know, rendering time. And so that's fine. So we can just click Next, click Next. And then before you select any animations, which is going to look like this, just click on the X here. And I want to download the T-Pose itself. So you just download. Okay, so that's fine. And T-Pose is fine. Just download that into the same folder. Okay, click on save. And that should be fine with our actual skeletal mesh. And for the list of animations that we're gonna use, let me check on that first. Okay, so this should be a list of all the animations we're gonna need for both the stick man and the space guy. So let's go ahead and search for these here. And so first let's type in happy. And it should be this one here, so the less exaggerated one. Yep. And let's just increase the character arm space to 75 so we're not intersecting there yet. That should be okay. And so for this, you just download, right? No skin, that's fine. And I'm going to use 60 FPS, that's fine. And just click download. Okay, save that in the same folder, so save that. And then the next one is the happy walk, which I believe is this one here. And for the walking, we need to do it in place, so click on in place, okay? And so this is quite fast, so I'm gonna reduce the overdrive. Let's give it 30. Yep, that's fine, so download once again with the same settings. All right, so let's look for next the air squat. So air squat. And it's gonna be the one with the hands up. That should be okay. And so overdrive maybe also just slow that down a little bit here. Yeah, so 35 should be okay. And let's download this as well. Next up, it's going to be the last one, should be landing. So type landing, and it's probably the one that is this one. Yep, and let's see. So overdrive, I think always keep that lower because it's kind of a little guy over here, right? So yeah, that's fine. And the arm space, yeah, let's drive that up as well. Yeah, that looks okay to me. So then we can just download. Save. And that should be it for Stickman. I'm just going to pause this for a sec. All right, so I have one tip for those who are new to Mixamo and haven't used this before. So let's just say that you have a different character currently uploaded, right? And so let's just get rid of that and select something different, right? So do that. And what you realize is that, oh, actually I need more animations for the stick man. And so instead of uploading the OBJ, which will ask you to create the rig again, what you need to do is to upload the, where is that? the FBX one, which was downloaded from Mixamo, that already has the skeletal information. So if you open that one, you can see that it gets 
applied once again. There you go with the rigging there. Okay, and you can basically add whatever animation that you want. So, you know, something like this, right? And so this is very useful because actually before I didn't know this, so every time I uploaded OBJ just to add in a new animation, the thing is that the points can move around a little bit in the bone and the animation can look a little bit weird. So there you go. Okay, so basically for the space guy, all you would need to do is to repeat the same steps as the stick man. I won't be repeating it because it's a relatively simple process and I won't be wasting your time with that. Right, so I have prepared a Mixamo skip zip file, which you can also find as well in the description. And so basically it has everything that we would need for Mixamo for the space guy over here. So just select all that, deselect this text file and just copy and then just paste it into the space guy here. There you go, right? So this has the typos and the animations. And for those who have skipped the whole Mixamo section, you can now just go into Mixamo skip and also have all the stuff inside of your stickman folder here as well, okay? And so once you're done with that, we should do some housekeeping for the naming conventions. And so if you have everything there, you need to just now go into each of the folders. Let's make a new folder for all the Mixamo stuff and select all the FBX, right? Since the OBJ is the um, source 3D and not from Mixamo. So that's that. And also select the PNGs because we need these for the textures. So drag and drop, great. And just go inside and first, let's get the T-Pose FBX and rename it to SKM for Skeletal Mesh because that's the actual skeletal mesh. And then the rest, just do SA for skeletal animation and just do the same thing for the rest. Okay, so once you're done with that, we can go into the stick man. So there you go. And let's do the same thing for the stick man low poly typos, SKM. And then the rest should be SA. All right, so that should be ready for all these files to be imported into Unreal Engine. Just in case you need more convincing, take a look at this. So one of my Japanese students here has taken the Interact courses and added in a cute little penguin instead of this sphere, which I think looks quite boring, which is the original version. And the penguin adds a lot more character. So if I were to redo it again in 2025, I'd certainly add in a character. So if you want to keep learning, click on the next video.